Hi, everybody. I decided to jump on and today to talk to you about fear. My name is Marcy Melzer, and I am an intuitive speech and language pathologist. And I help parents teach their late talking children how to use the words they need to share their wisdom with the world. This morning I woke up and I was doing my meditation and over and over and over the same message kept coming to me. And it is about, you know, I, I always often wonder what it is that I can say, you know, on these videos to help parents um, understand what I do and how they can help their kids. And today, you know, I've been thinking about what is it that's holding people up? You know, what is it that's that's keeping parents from enrolling in my program and getting started and getting their kids talking? And I think that there is most definitely a layer of fear that um, is sort of like a cloak that overwhelms people. It, it, it can just stop you from making progress in anything in your life. If you're afraid of the water, you're not gonna learn to swim. If you're afraid of vehicles, you're not gonna learn to drive. And if you are afraid about your child's late talking, then it very easily, very possibly, could be keeping you from helping your child, whether you realize it or not. Um, because many of the fears that I'm going to talk about here today on this video are, are, you know, very common for families, but they also are subconscious. And I think people don't even necessarily realize that it might be fear that's holding you back. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk to you about the fears that I have perceived as an intuitive and a speech pathologist and a human being, you know, the people have just told me, um, I've talked to more than 200 families on the phone, plus I talk to families online all day. And the thing is, the first fear that I think cripples a lot of parents to keep them from taking action is they are afraid of what's going on with their child. They're afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of what if it's this diagnosis or that diagnosis? What if, if it is this diagnosis? Is it going, does that mean it's a life sentence for my child if they do have ASD or apraxia or global developmental delay or you know any of these other diagnoses that are scary through flying around? It's fearful. You know, it you know, some parents go to the the doctor appointment, I'm afraid of what the doctor's gonna tell me. I'm afraid he's gonna tell me he has autism. I'm afraid of what they're gonna tell me. And you say that, you know, kind of off the cuff, you know, I'm afraid he's gonna whatever. But just by even saying that word out loud, subconsciously that does something to you. And, you know, when you are afraid of something potentially coming at you or something potentially happening, it's going to stop you from the very beginning. Okay. So my suggestion is if you are afraid about what's going on with your child and you are afraid even after you come out of the diagnostic appointment where they tell you what's going on with your child, then you don't understand exactly what's going on with your child. You're just afraid of what people have told you could potentially happen for your child or afraid about what you've read on the internet or afraid of what you've seen other parents go through with kids who maybe are older than your child or other kids who did receive that diagnosis. You also compare your child to every other child that you see who is their age, your friends, whenever you go to church or you're at the school or the supermarket or whatever, or other people, you know, unfortunately, other people may instill that fear in you by talking about their own fears. You know, I was afraid my child had had autism and I took him and he got diagnosed and it confirmed my fears. So, you know, all of those things, I mean, this is a very common dialogue for parents who are afraid of what's going on with your child. And the way for you to overcome that fear 
is to understand what's going on with your child. It is um, the issue with your child, the issue with you, the issue, you know, what you're doing at home, the environment, what happened to potentially cause it, all of that stuff. And, and a label, like a diagnosis, like a, a praxia, my son has a praxia, my daughter has ASD, my, you know, was diagnosed with XYZ, that label, that diagnosis label, doesn't provide you with the information about what is really going on with your child, okay? Because it is reality. Here you have your child who's late talking. You're not watching this video if you, you know, don't, unless you just really like to watch me talk, which some of my friends do, and hi to all of you. But I think if you're watching this video, you're feeling some fears. And, and those fears come from the diagnosis label often and what you perceive or feel about that diagnosis. So the thing is, like I said, these fears about the diagnosis are where it often starts, okay? So then what happens is a parent will, once you get a diagnosis or suspect a diagnosis or you think your child might have a diagnosis and you're Googling and searching and comparing and all of that, it's fueling that fear because what if he does have the diagnosis? What if it is? So like I said, the way to follow, the way to, to know is to know exactly what's going on with your child. And that is to look at your child comprehensively. You need to look at them medically and their fears, the environment, all of that stuff, okay? So that's the first way to overcome that fear. The second fear is either you've tried things that haven't worked or you are afraid that the presented option isn't going to work. Second fear is, all right, so what do I do about it? I want to take action. You try, try, try. You go to speech therapy. You've been to early intervention. You've tried other things and it's not working, okay? Whatever you've tried so far hasn't worked, okay? So if you have tried things and they don't work, that's going to instill fear like, oh no, I'm going back to fear number one. Maybe my child is de deemed for a life sentence of silence, or maybe we are going to be stuck with this iPad system our whole life. You know, if, if, maybe, you know, you get afraid that, you know, now I'm afraid that my child has a permanent kind of issue, and I'm afraid that I don't know how to help them. As a parent, all you want to do is have a child that's better. All you want to do is have a child that's successful and you want to love your child for who they are. But you could be afraid that the option presented to you by whatever professional you've talked to so far, including me, isn't going to work. I'm afraid it's not going to work. Okay. When you understand exactly what's going on with your child and you evaluate the intervention method to scrutinize it you know which you should most absolutely and understand exactly how it helps your child with their issues then that's how you're going to alleviate that fear if they just say yeah it works for everybody or look at all these families it's helped or hundreds of children have shown improvement or whatever that's a good start. You know, every family that's in my program understands why it works for them. Does it make sense for you to do something, invest in something that you don't know for sure is going to help your child, okay? And that alone, just having the, the confidence in the program system, ABA, you know, whatever you choose for your child, okay, as a parent. Because you can't take action if you're stuck in fear. The thing is, a lot of you out there are stuck in these fear-based situations. It happens to everybody all over the world. No matter what is causing their late talking, you as parents can take real action to help your child improve their communication. And I said that really slow because I want to empower you to understand that. As afraid as you are right now watching this, that your child is never going to talk. When will they ever? Will they go to school? If they are going to school, will they graduate school? Will they go to college? Will they grow up? Will they have jobs? All of that stuff, all of those fears are stopping you, okay, from 
taking the action you need to see the improvement because yes, most definitely you as a parent can improve your child's communication. I've proven it with families all over the country, you know, like I said, and, and these families are not all the same. They're very, very different. They're kids who are two-year-old lay talkers because of circumstance, you know, moving, speaking multiple languages, anxiety, th things like that, all the way to seven and a half year old kids diagnosed with autism who are late talkers and everywhere in the spectrum in between. Kids who've had ear infections, kids who, there's, the thing is there's for as many different families and circumstances for kids to be late talking, there are ways to work on and improve that communication. And you as a parent, I know it for a fact, been doing it for 30 years, can do it, okay? But you're never going to if you're stuck in fear, okay? You also may be thinking, yeah, I want to help my child. I do. I just don't know how. And that's why you can overcome your fears by getting a plan, okay? The most important thing to get out of fear is to take action with a plan that is designed to exactly help your child do or improve the things that you want to teach them. So if you want to potty train your child, you're going to look at a plan to make that happen. If you want to make your child, you know, um, stop running into the street, you're going to have a plan to make that happen. You're going to always hold your child's hand because you're afraid your child's going to get hit by a car. So you're going to make a plan to keep your child from getting hit by a car. Okay. It's the same for late talking. So the thing that I'm here to tell you this morning is, look, once you have a plan and you take action every day on that plan no matter where your child's starting if they're two years old or 10 years old or 20 years old and they're not talking and you find out why they're not talking and what's holding them back like what are the blockages from keeping them to start talking and then you have a plan to know how to do that then you can help them okay all right now here's the next fear that parents present to me, all right? That fear is the cost. But the thing is, and this is what you really need to listen to, if you are afraid of the cost, and this is literally the words someone said to me in a text message yesterday, I am desperate to help my child, I don't know what to do, I am afraid of the cost because X, Y, Z list of reasons. I live in a place that's low economic. I blah, 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 blah. All of those reasons. And I get it. I do. I know that families are strapped. I know that money is tight. Money is just another way to succumb to the fear. Well, I don't know what's going on with my child exactly. And I don't exactly know how to help them and I am afraid this novel way or even whatever the, the proven way, you know, that you know, whatever isn't going to help. I'm afraid it's not going to work and I'm afraid I'm going to invest my money in something that isn't going to work or might not do it for me or whatever. The money that you spend in your life about everything, it all goes toward solving problems. You're hungry, you spend money on food. You, your car breaks down, you have to spend money to fix your car. But if you are afraid to spend money to get the solution for your child, then I'm telling you what, it's not the money that's holding you back. It is your fear. It is your fear of whatever else, your child, the process, your ability to do the process, all of that stuff, okay? So like I said, if you're concerned about the cost and you're concerned about that stuff, then I really want you to start to look at yourself and understand where your fears are because you're not going to see improvement 
unless you can overcome those fears. You overcome these fears and take action when you know you know what the action is to help your child. So and really start to, you know, write down, journal it out, think about what am I afraid of? You know, and is that a fear that is keeping me from helping my child? Okay. And and if you want assistance and help to overcome those fears with a plan that you can use to take action, then that's when you need to reach out to me. And you can send me a private message or you can go to my website, wavesofcommunication.com, and I can explain to you on my free class, in my videos, on my um, strategy session call, I can explain to you exactly how it works. The only way anything is going to work for you is if you decide that it does, that it can, that it will. Fear is no joke, y'all. I'm not here putting everybody down. If fear is so real and it so happens to everybody and it is so crippling. But I, you know, there are ways to overcome it and people all over the world are enlightened and understanding that fear is just an energy, just like money. And you can exchange fear for hope. And you can exchange fear for promise. Because as soon as you start working with your child, I'm gonna get emotional because that's what's happening. As soon as you get it, as soon as you start to take action, real targeted direct action towards your problem no matter what your problem is get over the fear and take the action that's when you're going to see results and that's what's happening to the parents in my program and i hope 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 it can happen for you too because it is my mission to help as many parents as possible all over the world overcome these fears help your children overcome their resistance and get the communication flowing get the waves of communication flowing right into you Thank you.